Right, so I thought I'd give this a go and uh, explain it to you how, it's, how it works. This mat was designed by Steve Roder. I have no, uh, no claim to fame on the design of this mat, of this um, seat pad. So let me just show you how it works. So you have um, some different pads. So this one, you can see, um, it's cut out using the shape of the C2 seat pad. So I got a, a normal C2 seat pad and I put that uh, as a template. And then I measured my sitting bones and they were 14 centimeters apart. So that's a really critical thing to do, I think, because the C2 seat pad, the centers are about here somewhere. So, um, you know, mine were 14 centimeters. Yours might be wider or narrower, but if you get the centers of your sitting bones accurate, and I, I'm actually, um, I sort of worked out where the center line was, and you can see that line there. That line there is the, is this, is the line for, through which they go according to um, the C2 seat pad, so that these two blobs appear in the right place. And then I got a Stanley knife and I cut those as chamfered, um, the, the sort of chamfered, you can see there, it's a chamfered hole. And if we go to the next pad, did exactly the same thing. So I created, um, uh, well, you can, in fact, you can see it there, look. So it's a wider, it's four, uh, sorry, three centimeters wider, the diameter, but um, what it does is it fits nicely onto the top of that. So now I've got two chamfered holes. So my sitting bones are, sit are going into a sort of a, an inverse cone. And then we do that with the next layer. So again, chamfered layer there. So now we've got these chamfered um, places for my sitting bones to go down into. And then this goes on the top and you can actually see the, um, the place where the where the sitting takes place. And what I've done so far is I've just sellotaped all this stuff together with a piece of sellotape here, a piece here, and a piece here. Um, but by having it sellotaped together then I can work out what the best positions are and then eventually when I've got that all completely worked out I will glue it all together. So what you've got is um, a foam, piece of foam on the top which just uh, is cut to shape and then a piece with the chamfered edges. I think the chamfering is quite important. Um, and then another piece with more chamfered edges and then another piece with the little tiny bits at the end of the day. Bolt it all together or glue it all together or sellotape it all together and go like that and it's that thick. There we go, that thick. But obviously when I, I'll use something like um, Evo Stick um, uh, Im, not impact, what's it called? Contact adhesive, the one that you can move around a little bit. Um, there's, there's one of the Evo Stick um, glues where you can attach it and then um, you can move it a little tiny bit for about a couple of minutes before it sets. So that's what I'll do and uh, hopefully you can try that and it will all work for you.